Today, we're gonna show you how to completely remove distractions in your photos using AI as well as traditional removal in Lightroom. So I love this photograph, but as you can see, we have a lot of footprints here in the background. I want them gone. So we're gonna move right into our remove tool here. Now for this example, because it's relatively complex and there's a lot we wanna remove, we're gonna be using generative AI. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Now, this is super simple. Literally, all you have to do is simply paint over the area you'd like to remove, let go and click on remove. You're gonna see it's going to remove with AI and it really doesn't take a long time. It looks great. You do have a few different variations you can choose from. In this case, I think the first looks really good. Now I wanna go ahead and remove from the left-hand side. So same thing as before, simply paint over the area you'd like to remove. There we go, kind of bring that right into the center and you're gonna see it's completely gone. Now, if you do make a mistake, let's say you paint right over your subject a little bit, that's totally okay. All you have to do is click on subtract and subtract that area from your selection and you're good to go. Click on remove and you're gonna see everything is gonna be removed completely with AI. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this. Let's click on that slash key to see the before and the after, looking really good. Now, our next example here, we have our subject and we were photographing out in the desert. And as you can see, we have a drone here as well. So if I zoom in, this is our drone. Now, because this is a relatively small uh, distraction that we wanna get rid of, we can use traditional methods. So we're gonna go again to our remove tool. I don't have to click on generative AI. I'm gonna simply paint over the object I'd like to remove and our fill is gonna be set to remove. And as you can see, it's done a fantastic job. Now from here, you could decide to use the heel in which you can choose the your own texture that you'd like to heal in its place. You could use the clone if you want to create an exact copy. That looks pretty good too. And of course, you can still go to generative remove, all right? But the standard remove works really well. It's gonna remove it using the technique that it thinks should work best. Now for the last example, we have something a little bit more fun. I photographed a subject alongside themselves using a mirror. Now I wanna get rid of this line between our subject and the mirror image of our subject here. You can see the mirror in the sand. So we're gonna to go to our remove tool. This time I do wanna use generative AI because we've got quite a large area, okay? And again, all I have to do is paint. We're gonna go ahead and use the open and close brackets to make our brush larger or smaller. And I'm gonna simply paint over this area I'd like to remove. Now, again, if you need to, you can click on subtract and subtract around any areas you didn't mean to paint. There we go, that looks fantastic. And let's click on remove and you're gonna see it's gonna take care of it with AI. This is going to perfect this illusion. There we go. And now you can't even tell there was a mirror there. It creates this really cool effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this little root that was sticking up there and you can see it over here too. Just a little bit of distractions and we're going to remove that as well. So just a really fun technique where you can photograph someone with a mirror and then simply delete the line. See, there's that before and the after. The effect becomes absolutely seamless. As you can see, Lightroom has incredibly powerful object removal, including the addition of AI, as well as traditional tools like heal and clone.